Welcome back to another one of Don's Get Your Health Back series. I've got Brad Leach back here. We've been discussing autoimmune disease, of which he is a researcher for quite some time. And we're looking at the early stages of doing something about it, which is quite feasible. But when it gets too far, there's not a lot you can do, is there, Brad? That's right. It, it does get to a point in, uh, in your clinical practice where there is an individual where they've had a lifetime of the wrong foods, the wrong medications, not treating the cause of their autoimmune disease and actually makes my job very difficult. Um, where, yes, there is hope, you know, we can, you know, help them uh, have lesser symptoms, but to actually reverse the disease completely, there does come some lim limitations. But normally by the time a person gets Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, they've had a history of medication. Oh, of course. And, and a history of digestive upsets. They've probably been eating too much food just before bed for the last 30 to 40 years. It's not being digested properly. That leads to a number of cascade events that's probably led them to the disease state that they're in at the moment. When you're talking about eating that late at night, that would also disrupt your sleep pattern. That's correct. Um, at night, you know, ideally we want to be having like three hours um, before our last meal before we go to bed to allow the digestion of the food to occur. Now, if we actually go to bed on a full stomach, um, a, lot of the, a lot of our blood actually goes to the intestines and starts working on it rather than repairing the rest of the body, preventing disease, correcting uh, um, incorrect cell growth and so forth. Wow. So every time you look at somebody with Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or serious autoimmune disease, and you go back through their history, you'll find that is a standard pattern. I see that you know eating the wrong foods, especially late at night, is something that can lead to major digestive upsets and then the onset of um, these particular diseases. And those people will probably be on a sleeping tablet and a painkiller, statins, uh, proton pump inhibitors. You know, there's quite um, uh, and a variety of, of medications they are on because they're just treating the symptom. Would you say that as soon as you start being prescribed a lot of medications, it's time to stop and have a look at maybe there's an alternative way you should approach your health? Yes and no. So in my clinical practice, I, a lot of my clients have you know, up to three, five, even 10 pres prescription medication, and it's making sure that they are taking the nutrients to counteract any ill effects. Um, or they're taking it at the right time or away from particular nutrients or with particular nutrients. It is difficult. Ideally, we want to be in an integrative system working alongside a GP who is trained to actually work with the correct levels of these medications and nutrients um, to support the overall health. Well, there you go. I've got to thank Brad for that because you brought something up. If you've been prescribed medication, Maybe you need to see somebody like Brad to assist you in the foods that you should be eating with that medication. And then take into account not eating for three hours before you go to bed so your digestive system has time to utilize what's going on in your stomach rather than having the drug take control. Maybe in the future you could even reduce some of your medications because you're getting the nutrition that your body needs. There you go. Thank you for watching another one of Don's Get Your Health Back series.